Hey YouTube, it's Billiv here, and today I'm here with episode 1 of my FC24 career mode with Notts County. And I'm really excited to get into this. Didn't play FIFA 23 too much because honestly I didn't enjoy the game, so I'm really hoping to enjoy the game this year because I really want to make a long career mode on this. So I'm not wasting any time, let's get into the career. Right, I'm deciding to give Lewis McKinnon his third chance as manager here on my channel. For anyone who's watched the Barrow career mode, you'll know how big of a player Lewis McKinnon was. So I want to give him a chance to complete a career mode as manager. And for the colours of his suit, I've gone for black, white and gold, just like the colours of Notts County. It's giving me Ivy Lane as a default stadium here, but I hate Ivy Lane. So we're going to change to Court Lane, wherever that is. And it's more representative of the size of Meadow Lane, I think. Right, these are the settings I'm going with for the career mode. I'm going to start on Legendary. And I've put a lot of my assist levels to semi-assisted. So hopefully that'll give me a little bit of extra difficulty, which Legendary usually doesn't. Five minute halves, no international job offers, strict negotiations. And I'm keeping the transfer window on at the start in case I want to sell some players. But obviously, this is a Youth Academy career mode, so I'm not going to be buying anyone in the first season. Potentially free agents, though. And here we see Lewis McKinnon stepping out in front of the media as Notts County manager for the first time. So looking at my youth academy, these are the players I've got in there so far and none of these look that incredible. So I think I'm going to leave most of them in the academy for now or release them eventually or whatever. But this guy, Afonso Ribeiro, I'm going to sign him up because I'm severely lacking midfielders. I have one midfielder on the bench and that is the backup in my whole squad. So I'm going to sign this guy up just at least as backup. And looking at his stats, he's actually got some very good stats, which is why his rating is so high considering how bad his defensive stats are. And now we've checked the youth squad. Let's take a look at my objectives. I should be able to complete those youth objectives pretty easily. That's a very low priority, so it doesn't really matter if I do this or not, but I should be able to do it. Okay, I don't think I'll do that. I've got a fight for promotion already. I've just been promoted and my squad is not very good. I mean, this is my start 11, which isn't actually awful. It's okay, but in terms of depth, I've not got too much. I much prefer training in this year's game because you don't have to play the training every day now. You can just set this and then leave it as it is and let them get their sharpness on their own. Okay, so I'm going with Tiki Taka Tactical Vision. It's pretty much what I tried to aim for on every FIFA anyway. And uh, these default settings seem pretty similar to what I'd usually use anyway. So I'll change them as I play, but for now I'm just going to stick with this. Right, I've just hired some coaches as well. They're sort of the cheapest coaches I could go for. I just wanted a few cheap ones at the minute. We'll see how my money is going on through the season, whether I want to hire more or not, and how development's going. Right, I've not actually set any, like, rules for this series, but there's some that I'm just going to be following in my head so I don't make it just ridiculously easy. So I'm still only going to be using, like, one-star scouts for the first season and stuff. And I'm going to also restrict myself to only like signing a certain amount of players and stuff. But these are all just going to be rules in my head. I'm not going to actually go through any of them like I usually do. Right, we got pre-season tournament here. And a couple of these look pretty hard. So I'm going to go with this one. The least money, but it looks like the easiest. So I reckon I'll be able to get the most money from it. Right, I've got some scout reports back here on some free agents that are scouted. So let's take a look at these. And a couple of these players are actually looking pretty decent. So one of the rules I'm going to try and restrict myself to is signing no more than like five players a season because I want to have like quite a lot of youth academy players. So I don't want to just completely overhaul the squad every year and bring in loads of really good regions or whatever. So the first player I'm going to sign is Paul Neal because I've only got one right back and he's not very good. So I'm going to sign him and he'll probably come straight into the team. So that looks like a pretty fair wage and some fair signing bonuses. So I'm going to accept that. And that's our first player of the window signed. Nice to see this scene is copy and pasted from the last year's game, even though I think that woman's different, but the guy behind the desk is still Sadio Mane. Or was it Sadio Berahino? I can't remember. I'm trying to decide between which of these strikers to get, but honestly, I might get them both because you don't really get strikers from your youth academy, or not very good ones usually. We'll forget about Lewis McKinnon. I mean, he's literally the best striker I've ever had on FIFA, but usually you don't get good strikers in the academy. So I think I might just sign them both and just plan for the future. They've both got different play styles. He's 6'3", he's 5'11". He's sort of more of a technical player, but he's probably pretty good in the air, works as a target man. So whatever the play style dictates, both of them can be of use, I think. I'm going to try and get this guy on rotation, but I don't know if he'll be happy with it. He's fine with it. And those demands seem fair. Second signing of the window. Oh, I'm going to have to watch this like every time I'm signing someone, aren't I? Skip. Now let's sign Appiah. I'll try and get him on rotation as well, but I think he'll want important. No, he rotation's fine. And they've not gone in with anything. So I'm just going to put in an offer of not K, Jesus. 800 quid to start off with. See what they say to that. And he's happy with that. Third player signed. Nope, not watching this again. Right, the last two players, they're not very good, especially this guy, but... 
he's not very good as a right wing back. As a winger, he's fairly quick, good physicals, and good crossing, good dribbling, good ball control, decent finishing. He'd make a good winger. So thinking I'll get him and just change his position. Those demands are fair. Fourth player signed. He has a beard way too big for a 17 year old. And this last guy, he's not incredible, but I don't have a backup cam. So I'm just going to sign him. And those demands were fair. So that is the fifth player signed. And with those signings, I've already completed one of my objectives. Right, this time our team's updated now. So Neil comes straight in at right back. Ferguson and Appiah are on the bench. And then Radu and Kiss are in the reserves. Right, so now we've got our first game of the preseason tournament here. Let's have a look at the pre-match report because first chance to do it. Okay, their team looks better than us. Just guessing off those, uh, well, the star rating and the position ratings. I'm not going to bother with the training session because I'm not going to play the game. So let's go to kickoff. And I'm not going to bother with the highlights at any point unless the game gets updated because I watched MGH's video and he played like two highlights. Didn't, no one scored. And then the game ended one all. So I think highlights are broken. So I'm just going to quick sim all these friendlies. And we won it 2-0. Right, I've got the second game here against Villarreal B. And we drew this one 1-0. And we beat Carlisle 2-0. And Kiss's position can now change to a right mid. So he's going to be 62 rated, which is pretty decent. Isn't going to get any quicker though, which is a shame. And now I am at the 28th of the month, which is when I like to send out my scouts. So let's send them out here. And I always like to start just by searching for goalkeepers in England. I don't know what it is. I just like to have an English keeper. And then we'll go with what I usually go with in Wales, searching for wingers. Then in Scotland, I'm going to search for physically strong. But I'm going to specify physically strong centre-backs. And I've just realised you can actually search for positions. So I, if I want to get a striker, I can. Like I was saying earlier, it was difficult to get a striker. So that's good. So if I want, I could... Oh, I can't. I want to see if I can get a defensive-minded striker, but I can't. Okay, I'm going to go for a physically strong centre-back. And now we are already here at the first game of the season against Stockport. And it's come quite quickly, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was another game in the preseason friendly. I almost simmed it. But I managed to realise it was a League 2 game. And it'll be the first game of the season and I've got to play it. So, let's get into the first game of the season against Stockport County. That's the team I'm going with. You've already seen it. Some players are a little bit lower on sharpness because I've altered the training plans a little bit to make sure they're fully fit. But no one below 80 sharpness, so I think I'm happy with that. So let's get into it. A can't miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. Stay with us on EA TV. Why does his hair look so grey there? Ah, I quite like the intro scene, but no players walking out. But here we are. We're in to the first game of the season. And so we can get off to a good start. Oh, they've already got past the defender there, but my other one makes a block. I'm going to need to learn all these players' names because... Whoops. I thought there was a player there. But yeah, I'm going to need to learn all these players' names because I can't just keep calling them that player and that player. That's a good tackle there. Try and get Jones on a run. Not quite ran where I wanted, but got the ball to Crowley here. Going to play Langstaff through. Going to try and cut back on the defender. Play it inside. Couldn't quite get a position for a shot there. Well done there by the winger, whose name I don't know. Try and get Jones through here. He was offside, but it's got to Chickson. He's going to whip a ball in. That's a really poor cross. Chickson with the slide. He's missed the slide tackle and they've got past him. Chance to potentially whip a ball in now. And they have done. That's a really good cross. Header over the keeper. And that is 1-0 to Stockport. And that all came from Chickson missing his slide tackle. But that cross and that header, yeah, that was really good. Well, not the ideal start to the season. Langstaff can play a ball through there to Jones. And he's got a bit of space to run into. He's got no stamina. And I need... Options in the box. That's one of them. Going to have a shot there. And it's a good save from the keeper. Yeah, I'm going to whip this ball in here. That's a good cross. Can't quite get my head on it. Head it back out to the taker though. Then pass it across here. I'm just going to take a shot here. And oh, that's close. I thought that was going to go in. My game is lagging quite a lot here. Which is weird with FIFA. It's not exactly a demanding game. And that is half time. And... We are losing 1-0, but towards the end of the half, we did step it up and get a couple of chances. So hopefully that's something I can improve on in the second half and grab at least a goal to level this game. I've got to say, I do like these halftime cutscenes, I guess. To Alex Scott on the sideline as well. Yeah, she would definitely be reporting on a League 2 game. 
But I like this menu as well. It invokes FIFA 11. I quite like it. Anyway, let's get into the second half. Got Neil running down the wing here. Couldn't quite get past the defender, but he's got back up and he hasn't quite kept the ball. He has now, though. Going to whip across in, and I've got a corner here. Let's try and get it into the middle of the box. It's a good ball. Head on it, and it's gone just over the bar. They've moved the ball up well here. They've got a chance in the box here. They've cut it back on my defender. Clear that. Well done, Neil. Good play. Going to get Jones running down the line here, but... He's quite low on stamina already. I think I looked, he's only got like 43 stamina or something like that. Which is ridiculous. Want to get Neil in a crossing position. Going to play it into the box. Going to play it across now to Jones. And it's not a great effort. Ah, I've just remembered who Louis Barry is. I knew when he scored earlier, I remembered who he is. He's the one he scored for Villa against Liverpool in the cup. When they played the whole under 23 team. Oh, that's a good ball into the box. I've been done there. And he's... Just got a lucky break with the tackle. And that's 2-0 to Stockport. And I think that's game over. And that is full time here in our first game of the season. It is a 2-0 loss against Stockport, which is disappointing. But we did show promise. We did, we did have a couple of decent chances. So I think I just need uh, to do more of that. Right, I think that's where I'm going to end the first episode of this FC24 career mode. We've just set up the team for the season in this episode. And we've played our first game. Unfortunately, it was a loss. But... We did show a bit of promise, so I'm hoping the whole season won't end up looking like that. Anyway, if you enjoyed the first episode of this career mode, leave a like. If you want to carry on watching this series, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.